Now that you've stopped messaging or calling them, your absence has taken your person by surprise. They are genuinely astonished by how effortlessly you're demonstrating such remarkable self-control. It's something they hadn't expected, and they are left in awe of your ability to maintain composure and distance. This change in your behavior is having a profound effect on them, as they can't stop thinking about the shift. They find themselves deeply missing you and your presence. Every day, they are more aware of the fact that your connection was never ordinary. It was deep, sensual, and energetic, with a level of intensity they've never experienced before. Your person constantly reflects on how naturally you both connected. Whether in conversation or in silence, the bond between you two has always felt effortless. The way you could communicate with each other, sometimes without even speaking, is something they treasure. They can feel this connection on an energetic level, something that transcends words or actions. When they think about you, or when the two of you did speak, there's always been a magnetic, almost electrifying sensation that stirs something deep within them. They feel an undeniable arousal that comes not just from physical attraction, but from the energy that flows between you. It's a chemistry they've never encountered before, and it haunts them now that you're not as present in their life. The depth of your connection is something they can't shake. It's unlike any relationship or bond they've had in the past, and this realization has hit them hard. No matter how much they try to distract themselves or immerse themselves in other aspects of their life, they can't replicate what you two shared. There's no one else who can hold the same space in their heart, and no one else who can come close to taking your place. To them, you are irreplaceable. It's as if they've realized that it's only you who truly deserves their time, energy, and attention. Others may come and go in their life, but they've come to see that you are the one constant, the one person who stands out above all others. In many ways, it's only now that you're not communicating as you once did that they understand just how significant you are to them. They can feel that this bond is unlike anything they've ever experienced before. They know it in their heart, and it's becoming clearer with each passing day. Even if they tried to move on, no one else could measure up. It's only you who deserves their full attention, and they've come to realize that no one else can make them feel the way you do. What's more, your person has come to terms with the fact that you are the only person who can see them for who they truly are. In the past, they may have been able to hide parts of themselves from others, parts of their personality, emotions, or vulnerabilities, but not with you. With you, they feel completely exposed, as though you can see right through any facade or mask they might try to wear. This is both terrifying and liberating for them. They feel understood in ways they've never felt before, and that's what makes this connection so powerful. You are the only person who can bring their true self to the surface, and they've come to realize that they don't want to hide anymore. In reflecting on the past, your person is beginning to understand that their actions, such as blocking or ignoring you, were mistakes. Whether it was out of fear, confusion, or uncertainty, they see now that their decisions were based on emotions they didn't fully understand. Blocking you or keeping you at arm's length didn't resolve anything, in fact, it only amplified the feelings they have for you. The space they created only highlighted the depth of their emotions and how much they truly care about you. Now, they're determined to take a different approach. They are preparing to take action and make amends for the way they behaved before. The time for avoidance and distance has passed, and they know they need to reach out. They are ready to initiate a conversation, to unblock you, and to open up a line of direct communication once more. They know that the only way to rebuild this connection is through honesty and vulnerability. This time, they won't let fear stand in the way, 
because they understand now that this connection is too valuable to lose. In their heart, they know you are the person they want to share their life with. The intensity and passion of this connection have convinced them that no one else could ever take your place. They are ready to reach out, to reconnect, and to build something stronger with you, something that reflects the true depth of what you both share. I don't think you truly understand how deeply and passionately I feel for you. The emotions I have go beyond anything I could have ever imagined. If I could, I would do absolutely anything to turn back time and start over with you. I would rewrite every mistake, every misunderstanding, and every misstep. The thought of not being with you has left an emptiness inside me that is impossible to fill. When you left, it felt like a part of me was torn away, like I lost something irreplaceable. It wasn't just the absence of your physical presence, but something much deeper. It's as if a piece of my soul went with you, and now I am left trying to figure out how to live with this incompleteness. Ever since then, I've been trying to keep myself together, but it's far harder than I could have ever imagined. Every day feels like a battle to simply hold on. I go through the motions of life, but all the while, there's this constant ache, a nagging reminder of what I've lost. And honestly, I don't know how I'm supposed to move forward. How am I supposed to go through life when the only thing I truly want is to be by your side? I wake up every morning with this overwhelming desire to see you, to hear your voice, to feel your presence. The world around me moves on, but for me, everything feels like it's at a standstill, waiting for you to return. I know people say that everything happens for a reason, that there's some higher purpose behind every event, every breakup, every loss. But if I'm being honest, this reason, whatever it is, really sucks. It doesn't feel like a lesson I needed to learn, or like a path I was supposed to take. Instead, it feels like a cruel twist of fate. A mistake because there's no one else in this world that I would rather spend my time with. The idea of being with someone else seems pointless. No matter who I'm with or where I go, I know that I would spend the whole time thinking about you. No one else could ever fill the space you occupy in my heart. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, it just doesn't work. I've thought about moving on, about what it would be like to try and start fresh with someone else, but the truth is, I can't imagine it. Every time I consider it, my heart pulls me back to you. I don't care how long it takes, how much time passes, or how difficult the waiting might be, I'm willing to wait for you because I am deeply, truly, and irrevocably in love with you. Time may heal wounds, but it hasn't lessened my feelings for you. If anything, they've only grown stronger in your absence. My heart is tied to you, and no matter how much time passes, that connection remains. You know, ever since I met you, I haven't been able to look at anyone else the same way. You've become the center of my world, and no one else even comes close to what you mean to me. It's not just on an emotional level, although that's certainly a huge part of it. I'm drawn to you emotionally, but also sensually and intellectually. You challenge me, excite me, and make me want to be a better person. It's like you've awakened something inside me that I didn't even know existed before I met you. No one else has ever made me feel this way, and I can't imagine anyone ever will. I miss the way we connected on every level how we could talk for hours and still have so much more to say. I miss the way you made me laugh, the way you made me feel understood, and the way you made everything seem better just by being there. Our connection wasn't just physical, although that was a big part of it too. It was something far deeper, something that transcended the surface and went straight to the core of who we are. That's why I'm writing this now, to tell you that no matter what happens, no matter how much time passes, I'm here. 
I'll always be here, waiting for you, loving you, and hoping that one day, you'll come back to me. I know it might take time, and I know things aren't easy, but I believe in what we had. I believe in the connection we shared, and I believe that we were meant to be together. And for that, I'm willing to wait, no matter how long it takes. Because you, and only you, are the one I want to spend my life with. It's becoming increasingly difficult to maintain my composure, to keep a cool face when everything inside me feels so unsettled. We haven't seen each other in what feels like an eternity, and I know things have been especially hard for you lately. Life has thrown so many challenges your way, and it breaks my heart that I haven't been able to be there for you as much as I should. But please, don't let that make you forget about all the moments we've shared, all the time we've spent together, and everything we've built. I know it may feel distant now, but I believe that deep down, those memories still mean something. They've laid a foundation for us, one that can carry us through this difficult time. This period feels like a test, a test not just of our patience, but of our connection, our love, and the faith we have in each other. It's testing us in ways I never imagined, and I can only hope that we're both strong enough to endure it. I know we need to keep our faith, not just in the divine forces that guide us, but in each other. Our relationship has always been about more than just physical closeness, it's been about an emotional and spiritual bond that goes beyond distance and time. We've shared moments that can't be erased, and I truly believe this separation is just a temporary phase. We have to hold on to that belief, even when it feels like everything is falling apart. I understand that trust is a huge part of what we're going through right now. I also realize that I've broken that trust before. You may find it hard to trust me again, and I completely understand why. I've made mistakes, big mistakes that hurt you deeply. But I want you to know, with every fiber of my being, that this time is different. I will not cheat on you. I will not lie to you. I've done a lot of reflecting, and I've come to understand the gravity of what I did. I understand the hurt I caused, and I've spent countless nights thinking about how I can make it right. I know words alone may not be enough, but I want to assure you that I've changed. This time, you can trust me. What you may not realize is that this separation, as painful as it is, has become a source of motivation for me. The distance between us isn't pushing me away, it's pulling me forward, driving me to become a better person, to be the person you deserve. Every day apart from you reminds me of how important you are to me, how much I've taken you for granted, and how much I need you in my life. My soul has chosen you, and that's not something I take lightly. I'm committed to this journey toward you, and nothing will make me back off this time. I've realized that losing you would mean losing a part of myself, and that's something I can't allow to happen. I want to apologize, sincerely, for not trusting you when you deserved it the most. I knew in my heart that you were always a loyal and honest person, yet I let my insecurities cloud my judgment. I doubted you when I had no reason to, and for that, I am deeply sorry. Looking back, I feel a heavy sense of guilt for blaming you and for disrespecting you. You've always been so good to me so honest and kind, and I should have valued that more. I realize now how much I hurt you by accusing you of things you never did and for letting my fears get the best of me. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me, though I understand if you need time. Trust takes time to rebuild, and I'm willing to be patient. I don't expect things to go back to the way they were overnight, but I do believe that with time, honesty, and effort, we can move past this. We can emerge from this test stronger than ever before. I have faith in that, and I have faith in you. Please know that I am not giving up on us, not now, not ever. 
I'm committed to doing whatever it takes to earn your trust again. You mean the world to me, and I will spend every day proving that to you. I want us to move forward together, with a renewed sense of trust and love, because I truly believe that we are meant for each other. This time, I am here for the long haul, and I won't let anything come between us again.